A warm welcome to all the students. In this session, we are going to start with extractive metallurgy. First of all, we are going to take up some of the general principles of metallurgy and then we will discuss the metallurgy of some metals such as iron, copper, aluminium, tin, magnesium, lead, silver and gold. And we will see that how the general principles of metallurgy are applied in the extraction of these metals. So let's start with our first topic that is the general principles of metallurgy. Before starting with the general principles of extractive metallurgy, let's first get acquainted with some of the terms that we are going to use very frequently in this chapter. The first such term is minerals, the natural substances in which the metals or their compounds occur in the earth are called minerals. Whereas the minerals from which the metals can be conveniently and economically extracted are known as ores. So all the ores are minerals but all the minerals cannot be ores. The next term is native ores. The ores which contain metals in their free state are known as native ores. A native metal exists in its metallic form in nature which may be either pure form or alloy or amalgam. The next term is nudgets. Sometimes the metals occur in their pure state in the form of lumps. They are termed as nudgets. The process of obtaining a pure metal from one of its ore is known as metallurgy. Various metallurgical processes that are carried out in the extraction of a metal from its ore can be broadly categorized into four major metallurgical operations. They are comminution of the ore, second is the concentration or beneficiation of the ore, third is the extraction of crude metal from the concentrated ore and fourth is the refining of the crude metal. So the first important metallurgical operation is comminution of the ore. The ores contain various impurities such as sand, gravel, etc. Their lump size is usually much higher than the grain size of the minerals. Therefore, the lumps of ores are crushed and grinded to liberate mineral particles. This process is known as comminution of the ore and be carried out to various degrees according to the requirements such as coarse crushing, fine crushing, coarse grinding, fine grinding, and micronizing. Various types of crushers such as jaw crushers, gyratory crushers, impact crushers, cone crushers, roll crushers etc. and mills such as rod mills, ball mills, jet mills, autogenous mills and micronizers are used for this purpose. Second important metallurgical operation is the concentration of the ore which is also known as the beneficiation of the ore. The removal of unwanted earthy and siliceous impurities from the ore is known as concentration of the ore and also as ore dressing. The process used to concentrate the ore so that the ore can be used for further processing or direct use is known as the beneficiation process. The concentration of ore can be achieved by two types of methods. First type are the physical methods and the second type are the chemical methods. The physical methods applied for the concentration of the ore are hand picking, hydraulic washing which is also known as levigation or gravity separation, third is electromagnetic separation and the fourth method is froth flotation process. So let's start with the first physical method that is hand picking. This method is applied in those cases in which the impurities are quite distinct from the ore particles in their appearance so that they can be easily differentiated by naked eye and can be picked up by hand. 